Science is all around us. Though right now we might be limited to where we can go and what we can do, being a stay-at-home scientist has never been better. Today, we're going to teach you how to do a simple experiment at home that will allow you to explore one of the most important building blocks of life, DNA. DNA is in every living thing from the very small to the very big. We're filled with it, and so are the foods we eat, much like bananas. Today, we're going to show you how to take the DNA out of bananas to make your very own DNA necklace. For this experiment, you'll need a plastic bag, a skewer or wire, two glass cups, measuring cups and spoons, a ripe banana, some dish soap, ice cold rubbing alcohol, coffee filters, salt, and a tube and string for your necklace. Like any good scientist, you need to make sure you're wearing the proper equipment. If you don't have your own banana safety suit, you can use any lab coat, old t-shirt, or any apron will do. First step is to peel your banana and put it in a plastic bag. Following this, you're going to want to add half a cup of water to the same bag. Finally, seal the bag and then you'll want to squish up the banana so it's nice and smooth. This breaks apart the cells and allows the next step to work better. Next, we're going to create our buffer. We do this by combining one teaspoon of soap with one quarter teaspoon of salt, followed by two tablespoons of tap water. Once combined, stir in very gently until the salt and the soap have dissolved. This step should take a few minutes. Next, take two tablespoons of your banana slurry and place it into your buffer. The soap in the buffer helps break down cell membranes and releases the DNA. The salt helps bring the DNA together. Stir gently for at least 10 minutes. Next, place a coffee filter over a glass and pour the slurry into the coffee filter. This step helps separate the banana slurry from the liquid containing the DNA. This last step could take 10 to 15 minutes, so take a break! Eleven minutes later. Now that the liquid has passed through, remove the coffee filter, ensuring not to spill. Take a look at the volume in your glass, and you'll want to add a similar amount of ice cold rubbing alcohol to the glass. Let the glass sit undisturbed for five minutes. Five minutes later. If successful, you should see a white material in your liquid that sort of looks like snow. This is your DNA. Take your wooden skewer or metal wire and swirl it around gently in the liquid. This will collect the DNA and allow you to place it inside your necklace tube. Congratulations, your very own DNA necklace. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed making your own banana DNA necklace.